What do we do about it? It's very, very important to understand that complaining is normal. And uh, we're big on constructive criticism. Use that, have that, it's important to do that. It's important to share your feelings with your family and your friends. But when it stops being something productive, when it becomes something where you're just putting something negative into the world and not doing anything about it, that is a complaint. And that's kind of what we're talking to you about today. So let's start with understanding what makes it so terrible. Why is it such a terrible thing? So here are some facts. 40, 40 statements that you make a day are complaints on average. When we complain, the part of our brain uh, it, that's used for problem solving releases stress hormones. And if we're around people that complain, it's the same thing that happens. It's just like uh, secondhand smoking, it's secondhand complaining. And 95% of complaints that you make to people around you about companies or things that don't do enough are never actually sent to those companies. So if you take all of that, what we get is that we complain, it's not healthy for us, it's not healthy for anyone else, we do it too often, and it's not going anywhere. So let's ask ourselves, why do we do it? What makes us complain so much? Sometimes it's out of fear. Sometimes it's out of frustration. And sometimes it's, it's just anxiety, and it's a need for validation. Exactly. Sometimes it becomes a habit. Yeah, uh, complaining is just a habit that we don't even realize anymore that we complain. And just like all other habits, it's, it's, it's just invisible. So how do you deal with something like that? When it's taken over most of our lives, and it's something that society teaches us to do as well. All of us are used to it. Our parents complain, our children around us complain, our friends complain way too much. We all know that person who's always in your ear because somebody did something else. But what do you do about it? I'm going to refer to somebody else for just a moment. There's a man named Will Bowen, who you should all take a look at. He wrote a book, and he's also the world's foremost expert on what it means to be a complainer. He started off as a minister in Kansas, where he asked his congregation to do something. He asked them all to wear these purple bands with white on the other side. The point of this was that every 21 days, they were to try to go without complaining for the whole stretch. And if they did, or if they heard somebody else complain, they had to correct that person or themselves and then flip over the band. And until they go 21 days, they couldn't take it off. Yeah, so something that you can do starting tomorrow is try not to complain for at least seven days. Uh, check out in your goodie bags, you've got a magnet that you can put on your fridge. And you try to monitor yourself and see how your life gets slightly better. You get a magnet, you get a magnet, you all get magnets! <laughs> Make sure you keep those magnets, very important. Yeah. So. Um, I've been with the Guy Art Center for the last six years, and I've really learned the value of not complaining. Uh, I've seen kids as young as six years old remind their friends that they should not complain, they should just come up with a solution. And they don't have to go to their, their teacher, their elders, and say, hey, this one did that. But no, they can come up, they can speak to their own friend and say, hey, let's solve this and let's try and do, do something creative out of it. So it's been truly inspiring and wonderful to see kids start by saying, let's not complain and see this positive atmosphere come up. So, and I can yeah. see some of the kids in the yeah. crowd sort of cringing, going, that yeah, wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's very important. And we have a responsibility to do that as parents, as teachers, as the grown-ups, we're supposed to lead by example. It's, it's up to us to show them what they're supposed to be doing. If we're off complaining about everything else and not taking any steps to actually notice it or to do anything about it, then we're not helping anyone. If you take nothing else away from this, I want you to take one thing. There's something that Thomas Edison did. You see, he took 1,001 days to build a light bulb. And he said this. It's not that I failed a thousand times, but I found a thousand ways how not to build a light bulb. And that is something we need to aspire to. If you take nothing else away from this, 
take that. That you can do better, we all should be doing better. So stop complaining. Thanks.